ArtReach presents Encore at Home, Enhancing Accessible Experiences in Arts and Culture, featuring the Museum of the American Revolution. Hello, I'm Michael Hensinger, the Manager of School Programs at the Museum of the American Revolution. And today I'm going to share a story with you that we often tell in our galleries. The story revolves around revolutionary artist and soldier Charles Wilson Peale, and is featured in our museum as a moment frozen in time that brings history to life for our guests with lifelike figures and objects. I wanna take you back to the year 1776. The United States of America has declared its independence from Great Britain, but Washington's army has suffered a great deal in their campaign against the British and Hessian soldiers in New York. Defeat after defeat finds them retreating south toward Philadelphia. It's December 8th and we're near the banks of the Delaware River. The sky is dark and gray, tall barren trees that have shed all their leaves with only skeletal frames remaining create a haunting backdrop. We see a column of men and even a few women and children trudging through thick unforgiving mud. You can imagine the extra exertion that every step requires as they push themselves forward just a little bit further. Shoe buckles, canteens, wagon axles, even continental currency sink into the mud as soldiers discard them when they fall into disrepair or maybe just to shed their weight. These objects linger as they sink into the mud, reminders of how far the army has fallen since its victory at the Siege of Boston only a few months ago. One soldier marches on with his eyes cast downward, dirt-caked fingers clutching his fringed hunching shirt to his chest to steal a bit more warmth in this cold and dreary scene. Imagine the uncertainty he and others like him were facing. After enduring such a bitter campaign in the North, what would the outcome of all their sacrifice be? He, like others of his time, had no idea if this rebellion would eventually succeed or if it had already been irreversibly crushed. Indeed, soldiers were already deserting the army, leaving it in dire straits. A mother and her young daughter lock eyes as they hold hands, marching among the soldiers. They've been sharing in the struggles of the army, working to support it as it tries to hold together. And you can see the uncertainty on their faces too. The fate of the army and the nation is theirs as well. Amidst this scene, one soldier stands a bit taller than the rest. He wears a clean brown coat with red facings and gold epaulets atop his shoulders. This is Lieutenant Charles Wilson Peel. He belongs to the Philadelphia Associators, part of a badly needed group of reinforcements that has recently arrived to bolster Washington's army as it copes with mounting casualties, desertions, and expiring enlistments. He's bent forward slightly as he moves to wrap a blanket around a particularly weary soldier who has lost much of his winter clothing. Charles was a painter, trained to recognize and paint people but this soldier was unrecognizable to him. Time seems to have stopped as their eyes meet in our tableau, and Charles Wilson Peel described their meeting this way in his own words. A man staggered out of line and came toward me. He had lost all his clothes. He was in an old dirty blanket jacket, his beard long and his face full of sores, which so disfigured him that he was not known by me on first sight. Only when he spoke did I recognize my brother James. Perhaps nothing speaks to the challenges that Washington's army had faced better than this realization by Charles Wilson Peel that the tired and distraught soldier he had approached was in fact his own brother, initially unrecognizable to him because of his physical state. Charles Wilson Peel and his brother James Peel both survived the Revolutionary War and went on to become accomplished artists. But imagine being either of them in this chance encounter. Would your faith in the revolutionary cause have wavered after all that had happened? What would happen next? If you've ever heard of the crossing of the Delaware, you know how Washington revived hope in the American cause. Stories like this one remind us that real people have found themselves in extraordinary situations throughout history. And just as many people today are coping with uncertainty in their lives, People who lived during the founding of our nation needed to push past this uncertainty and make the best of their situations. I hope you enjoyed hearing this story today and join us here at the museum in continuing to learn more about those that came before us and how they responded in extraordinary circumstances of their own. 
Support by Independence Public Media Foundation. ASL Interpretation by Hands Up Productions. Special thanks to Michael Hensinger from the Museum of the American Revolution, our deaf talent, Beth Applebaum, and the Virginia and Harvey Kimmel Family Education Fund. Learn more at www.art-reach.org.